called either bath salts or plant food, but it's being used as a drug, and believe it or not, it is legal in the state of Ohio. Jordan Burgess live with a closer look at the danger of these designer drugs. Jordan? Tiny containers like this one are at the center of the latest drug fad. Now, this kind here is called white lightning. It doesn't look like much. It says on it bath salt. Jumpstart your day, not for human consumption. But when I bought this, a person in line ahead of me was buying some for himself. And trust me, when somebody's paying more than 20 bucks a pop for a few pinches of powder, they're not planning on throwing it in the tub. This white powder doesn't look like much, but its effects are being felt throughout the Miami Valley. We've seen stories where police will respond to a residence and people will be in the backyard burying themselves because aliens are coming or someone's attacking them. In just the last two weeks, the Miami Valley Regional Crime Lab has had five cases involving people high on the so-called bath salts, one overdose, two traffic fatalities, and two DUIs. What's very concerning to us is people are taking this and driving and, the, uh, and their ability to function behind the wheel is zero. They just can't do it. Just this weekend, police say a Salina man high on bath salts opened fire inside his house, hitting his wife in the hand. Police say the man was hallucinating and thought he was in danger. Folks um, um, act as if they're on the old PCP where they have no clue what's going on. Some states have banned the bath salts, and Representative Clayton Lucky has introduced a bill to do the same here in Ohio. But for the time being, you can buy them legally. So officials are trying to get the word out that a small amount of powder has major consequences. The good effect is you end up in the morgue on an autopsy table, and your family loses you forever, if that's a good effect. And while there is a push to ban this stuff, officials tell me manufacturers will likely just change the formula to something not banned. So the bottom line is that people just need to realize how dangerous this stuff can be. Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.